Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm in a Sherry haul from Vintage Chic Scents. Um, this was the October restock, um, and I'm going to try and post this today, um, but I think next week is already the next restock, so I'm going to have this for at least a week, um, if not longer. Whoops. Um, this was shipped right before Halloween, so 10-24, so I probably got it right before Halloween. Um, and Halloween was only last week, but it seems like it was further away now. Um, but anyways, so this restock, um, she had a lot of starting to do Christmas stuff. Um, and I had a really big wish list, and I love her samplers, um, because I have been ordering for her for several months, but I haven't been with her a year, so there's still a lot of scents that I don't know from her, um, or haven't tried. So I love getting the samplers. Um, you can get like a little bit of each. And unfortunately, um, I kind of just spaced on <laughs> the restock and I was an hour late. Um, and I wasn't really looking at Facebook because usually, you know, if you're on Facebook, it's like you'll start seeing people post their hauls right away and then you can like get on there right away. But anyways, I was an hour late and I think everything but like one thing I wanted was gone. Um, so, and like... The previous restock, September, there was a ton of samplers left, like an hour, two hours plus, you know, a couple hours after restock left. So, um, I was kind of surprised to see there was like no samplers left. Um, the only sampler that was left was like the Fresh and Clean, which, um, is not really my favorite scent type, so it wasn't really one I was, I was looking to get anyway, but, um, I missed the Christmas one, I missed the customer, like, um, blends that was for this time, um, and I really wanted a bunch of Warren stuff. There was like a Dahlia Quartet, and then I think there was like a Warren's with something else loaf, um, and Warren's is like, it's up there in like my top two from VCS. Um, it's really good, and without a lot of cure time, I get a really good throw from it. Um, you know, something only has like two months or so. It's like a cinnamon bakery, but um, anyway, so I didn't get that stuff, but um, I consolidated myself with getting lots of other stuff. So. <laughs> Um, I ended up getting a mystery box, um, two loaves, and then two of, like, the bags. Um, this one is actually one that was on my wish list. Um, my nails are all jacked up, but, um, they looked really nice, like, yesterday and the day before, but, <laughs> um, but if I was gonna, like, do my nails before I shoot this, which sometimes I like to, but, um, I probably wouldn't have been able to shoot stuff today, because I have a toddler, and I can only, you know, if you saw, like, my video from, like, the other day, <laughs> you could hear him in the background, um, and it's not my favorite way to do that, and I don't, like, torture you guys, um, with hearing him, and it's really not fair to him either, I like to be there and doing stuff with him when he's awake, um, so anyways, I only have a short time period during the day that I can do this stuff. And, like, in the evenings, my husband's home. I'm working. I work from home, um, like, part-time. Well, he's, you know, well, my husband's watching my son. So, his son, too. So, <laughs> I made that sound weird. Um, it's our kid. <laughs> so, anyways, this was one of the bags that I wanted. Um, so, I did get this one. And this one actually lasted a really long time. And I was really surprised because it sounded really good. Um, so, it's Edelweiss, Swirl, and Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. And... It is gooey gingerbread cake, cream cheese frosting, mac apple, cinnamon glazed donuts, buttermilk maple syrup, sugar cookie dough. Um, I don't know if like some people don't like gingerbread or what, because the rest of that I would think people would be all over. Um, and I, I definitely like gingerbread scents, so... Yeah, and I actually, um... I definitely get the gingerbread, gingerbread and the cinnamon kind of bakery... Um, and it wasn't really until the second sniff that I really got the Mac Apple out of this. The Mac Apple is definitely not, like, all-consuming, which is just fine with me. Um, so these, I think this might be a deluxe blossom bag. I really don't know the difference, but I think they might just have different amounts of stuff in them. I don't know. Um, some coins. And then another flower. Um, let's see two of the big flower coins. These are pretty big. I definitely would um, cut those. I can even cut these in half, but these are about an ounce, so most people probably melt those whole. Um, 
then two more of the flower coins and some of these are probably a little bigger than others um, and then one of these little flowers um, so there's that one I suppose I didn't get one of those other little flowers that you usually get it's probably just random and then they weigh them okay so that's that one I'm excited to try that one um, hopefully that one will be good by Christmas um, if not, I'll just hold it till next year. Um, you know, some of her stuff, I've had really good luck doing it with only like two months cure time. Um, and then some stuff, not as much. So, but that's okay. The thing I like about Vintage Chic is, you know what, I love wax that I don't have to cure. But, um, the fact that her wax only gets better with time, um, and I know that it's going to be good like a year plus from now, is really nice for someone who has way too much wax. <laughs> because I know I'm not going to get through it all this year. So, um, even if it was ready to melt right away. Um, so it is kind of nice that I know it's not going to go bad on me next year. Um, and I don't hear most vendors are like that, but I do hear some vendors where people are like, oh, you know, the stuff gets worse or less strong, at, you know, at like a year. So, um, you know, I definitely think that's a plus in a lot of ways if you have a lot of wax. Now, if you want to melt it like right away, you know, not as much, but it's just different. Um, and there's a lot of people that melt it right away, and I think it depends on the scent and also, you know, like your warmer and how much you're using. So, anyways, this one is um, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, and I'm hoping this one is going to be good um, by Thanksgiving, which that'll only be a month cure time, but I'm going to try. If not, I'll hold on to it for next fall. Um, obviously, I wouldn't melt any of it, all of it, anyways, but um, sweet potato pie. Toasted marshmallows, sugar cookies, caramel cupcakes. Um, and this is one of the new customer scent creations, I believe, as well. Um, this one I definitely get, like, the sweet potato. Yeah, I'm mostly getting that sweet potato. It smells like a sweet potato pie. Um, not, like, spicy. Um, this one actually might be a deluxe. It looks like there's more in here than the Edelweiss one. What did I do with my receipt? Yeah, okay, so the Edelweiss one was a bombshell blossom bag for $19.50. Um, yeah, these are this, or not, I'm sorry, $19.70. The Charlie Brown Thanksgiving has a deluxe blossom bag for $19.70. So, I don't know, someone should tell me <laughs> what the difference is between like the bombshell blossom bag and the deluxe blossom bag because they're the same price, so I don't really know. They look pretty similar to me, but, um, anyways. So this one is really cute, like, fallish kind of colors. So, there is a ton of these big coins. Four of those big ones. Um, and then I just got one of these little ones. And three of these little, like, tulip-looking things. And then two big flowers. These I usually cut in fours. I think they're about two ounces. Um, and then this is just one of those little flowers. That's the one I was talking about that there wasn't in the other one. I usually see at least one of these in the, you know, the blossom bags. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Hopefully I can melt some of it for Thanksgiving. If not, I will melt it next year. Okay. So those are the bags I got. Um, and then these are the two loaves I got, um, Sanderson Sisters and White and Zombie. This one is just like a plain, it might be a dual, let me look, loaf, but Sanderson Sisters is a really good, like, good, um, like, caramel apple scent. Yes, this is a dual one. So that'll be a pretty once it's cut up. Um, Sanderson Sisters, I really love it, and, you know, I did look at these, and I was, these, both of these ones I got are Sanderson Sisters, um, and I, it's a pretty popular scent, but, um, you know, I think maybe it didn't go as well this time that there was kind of stuff a little later, because it's more of, like, a early fall Halloween-y scent, um, this one is Green Apple Caramel Candy Corn, um, which that's the Sanderson Sisters, and then the White Zombie Marshmallow Mac Apple Whipped Cream Birthday Cake. Um, marshmallow might be with the Sanderson Sisters, but anyways, so that's that one. 
I definitely get the, you know, like the green apple caramel. That's what I'm mostly getting on cold right now. Um, so we'll see once it cures a little bit if that white zombie comes out. Um, and this is the other one um, I was really tempted to get, but it was one of these huge loaves. Um, you can see in comparison to this one, it's it's a lot bigger. Um, it's they're significantly different. Um, so that white zombie loaf, seventeen seventy five. The big one down here is thirty five seventy. Um, so they are a you know a lot of money, but it's a lot of wax. Um, so. You know, while I often like the scents in these huge loaves, I really have to think about them, and it really has to be something I think I'm going to love, because this is a lot of wax if you're not splitting it. Even between, like, two or three people, it's still a lot of wax. Um, anyways, so this one is Yakety Yak Embeds and Sanderson Sisters Overpour. Next year, I'm totally... <laughs> I'm going to be melting a lot of Sanderson Sisters, because um, I also have just a plain Sanderson Sisters loaf. And then I also have a Sanderson Sisters with, like, a, like the Great Pumpkin, which is like a pumpkin layer cake cream cheese frosting. So, um, yeah, a lot of Sanderson Sisters, but it's really good. Um, so this one is Juicy Green Apple, which is the Yakety Yak, and then Green Apple Caramel Candy Corn Marshmallow. So it's just like a extra Green Apple Sanderson Sisters, basically. Yeah, and it's definitely... I'm definitely getting more of that green apple, and then it's just sort of like the caramel in the background. So, this one is still kind of Halloween themed. Um, mummy and a bat. That's really cute. And pretty glitter. Her glitter's always well done. It never feels to me like it's too much. Um, and then, is dual colored. It's like a yellow. And then you can see the embeds. The embeds is the Yakety Yak. So um, I really think it depends on the loaf. We'll see when I cut this one. It looks like the Yakety Yak is pretty, um, you know, a lot of it in there. The Sanderson Sisters um, Great Pumpkin one I got, I feel like there's not a ton of the green, uh, the Great Pumpkin embeds. So it ended up, when I cut it, it mostly looks like Sanderson Sisters. So, um... I definitely like when there's more of a balance, but if it's if it's less of one and you really like that scent, then you can just melt some of that without the other part in there. Um, so, okay, this is the last part um, of before the mystery box. So this is just a four pack. Um, it's called. I guess I should say the name. Huh? Baking up some love. This one is pumpkin roll, brown sugar, cream cheese frosting, and zucchini bread. I think this would be another really good Thanksgiving November scent. I'm definitely getting the spicy from that zucchini bread. And probably a bit of the brown sugar. Um, and then it's just sort of like, you know, like a light pumpkin bakery. So I think that one will be nice. Try that one. Um, I'll probably, well, we'll try. I might try a little piece of it. If not, I'll save it for next year. So, um, let me just move some of the stuff. And the rest I got was a mystery box. Um, I do love her mystery boxes. Um, so this one is mostly some shapes, and then I got one loaf. I've gotten boxes where I've gotten two loaves. I've gotten boxes where I've gotten no loaves. Um, this one is Beautiful Girl, uh, which is raspberry white chocolate cheesecake. Um, I guess most one again when I, I smelled it before, like when I first got the box, I wasn't crazy about it. Um, probably the first like big like loaf or big item I've gotten from a mystery box that I'm not crazy about. But you know that's that's just kind of part of the mystery box. So um, I might end up de-stashing this or something. Um, I'm not a huge fan of raspberry. And I don't really like white chocolate, so. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, you know, it's a mystery box. It's bound to happen. Um, but I've bought at least five mystery boxes, if not more. Probably about five or six. 
and this is the first like really big chunk of wax that I've gotten from mystery box that I didn't like so that is pretty good odds um so that's okay I'm not upset <laughs> but it's just it's just what happens when you get mystery boxes um so this one is happy days on Cape Cod which is apple mango tango clean cotton salty sea spray sea weather driftwood water lily so I'm guessing this was in that fresh and clean sampler. Um, I mostly get the apple mango tango, which is like game laundry. And then maybe a little bit of like that sea spray, kind of oceany. So um, I'll probably say that for spring or summer. Um, and this one is Margaret's Pearls. I don't think I have this one. If I do, it's just like a little bit like another thing like this, but um, sounds really good. Marshmallow Coconut Cream Pie, Marshmallow Lavender Vanilla. Definitely get the lavender. Lavender. <laughs> I can talk. And a little bit of that coconut. Um, it's not too scents that I've ever really thought about putting together, but I think it, I think it works. Um, I'm excited to try that one. Um, and this one is Her Majesty. Lemon curd and rosemary mint. Mm. You know what? Um, when I was writing the scent description down, I thought it sounded kind of strange to me, but I think it really works. It's just like a really nice, really strong mint um, with lemon curd. Um, and then this one is Chicago Murder Castle. This was another one of the customer creations. Um, this was one I really wanted to try, um, and I think it was sold out by the time I got on there, so I'm excited I got to try some. Um, Mac Apple Fresh Leaves and Cider Lane. I really love Cider Lane, which is also part of the Warrens that I really love. Yeah, this is really nice. I mostly get the leaves and the Cider Lane, but I'm excited to try that one. Probably save it for next fall. This one is Evenings with Grandpa. This is definitely a new one for me. Butterscotch Candies, Pumpkin Cream Cheese Frosting, Zucchini Bread. Um, definitely get that Zucchini Bread. And then I think like the Butterscotch Candies. I don't think I'm getting much of like the Pumpkin Cream Cheese. But that one does smell nice. And then, um, this is the sample I got. There's no place like home. That is a lot of glitter. It's pretty, though. <laughs> which is just pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, which, yeah, that's what it smells like. Shocking, right? Um, this one is Ralphie's Bunny Pajamas. This was another one from the um, customer creations for this month that I really wanted to try. Um, so I'm glad I got it in the mystery box. But it's fresh picked strawberry, marshmallow, sugar cookies, vanilla bean Noel. I'm um, definitely mostly get fresh picked strawberry, but I do get a little bit of that bakery. Um, so this is like a snowflake. That's really pretty. I don't know if she does any of those for samplers ever, but maybe just might be mystery boxes. But it's really cute. And then this one is a little gingerbread man. He's cute. The Grinch. Hello. Okay. Cranberry, mulberry, orange, Moscato. Um. This one's probably not my favorite, but I think it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I think it's gonna be meltable. It's probably not one I buy a lot of. Um, I'm just starting to realize um, I'm not a huge orange fan, and I think I'm on the fence about cranberry, so I will definitely try that one, but it's probably not going to be like, it's not something I'd probably buy a loaf of. Oops, there it is. Um, this one is the Warren's Creepy Museum. So um, I did get two pieces of the Warrens in my mystery box, which I was excited about because I missed all the Warrens that I wanted. Um, this one is Gooey Marshmallow Glazed Cinnamon Donuts Cider Lane Pomegranate. Um, I'm mostly getting the pomegranate on cold. 
um, it's just like, it's not like my top scent ever. <laughs> so I'm going to try that one, but it mostly smells like pomegranate to me. Um, and then this is the other Warren's one I got, which is the Warren's Visit Cookie Monster. I'm pretty sure this is what the loaf was that she had, the Warren's Visit Cookie Monster, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, marshmallow glazed cinnamon donuts, cider lane, sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, sugar milk. Ooh, hitting this stuff a lot. Sorry guys. I'm mostly getting the cookie monster. I think it's overtaking the warns a little bit, but I do get a little bit of that like cider lane scent out of that. Um, a few more. This one is House on Haunted Hill, a little leaf. This one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Blackberry Jam, Whipped Cream. Um, I'm mostly getting the blackberry. It really just smells like a creamy blackberry to me. So I might not, I might even melt that and not fall. We'll see. And then this one is Backwoods Barbie, which is another customer creation, but it's been around for a while. Um, and there's a lot of vendors who also do a similar scent. But um, it's that cinnamon, strawberry, cotton candy. Um, it's probably like one of her most popular scents. I have a loaf of it. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's mostly I mostly get Satsuma from it, but... Um, and then this last one is the Blob. Little leaf. This one is pomegranate, sweet blackberry, marshmallow. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like the blackberry pomegranate. Um, and then I think you just get a little creamy from the marshmallow. So that was my mystery box, and then the rest of the stuff I got. So. Um, and then she always gives you as many bakery bags as you have um, loaves. I never use them because I just cut up a loaf and keep it in the plastic bag. I prefer them over bakery bags, but um, it is still very nice that she gives them. I'm sure some people prefer bakery bags. I find that the ties kind of end up getting kind of busted and if you open them too much, <laughs> um, I have better luck with the plastic bags. But anyways, that is it, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.